Pitch carry for Jonathan Stewart. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7-0 lead. Gano out to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. 3-4 defense. Usually here you'll see the linebackers come up and make those plays, but the nose tackle also vital. That was so vital because what you just pointed out, normally he eats up blockers that allows the linebackers to get to the ball carrier. In this case, he did his job and then some, and there was no gain at all for the runner. second down he's going to leave this for his running back it's complete give him 15 yards on that one and new england has a first down now charles what's the mindset here offensively you gave up the touchdown pretty quickly would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be zero zero right now or no I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. There should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. Brady gives this one to Lewis. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. But when it comes to the running game, the New England Patriots, they're one of the few teams in the NFL that I don't think care much about balancing things out. <laughs> Last year, to your point, fifth in passing yardage, number 30 in the run game. What they want to do each and every week is make a game plan based on their opponent, not so much their own personnel, and they try to attack that way. Snap comes at one, and it's Brady. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll let it go. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Adams. Oh, well, he's got some breathing room. There he goes, right side. 
And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. To throw on second down is Newton. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Dante Hightower leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. Newton now to throw. Flushed out right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Yeah, not much there that time. And I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Second down, here's Brady. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Charles Johnson in there to bury him for a loss of 11.
Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. On third and long, it's Brady. And the pressure gets to him again. Thomas Davis in there to drop him. And back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long. In his fifth year from La Tech, here's the lefty Ryan Allen to punt it. Christian McCaffrey deep for Carolina. Time for our first check of the NFL scoreboard. And it's the Cowboys that have moved down to an early advantage. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Panthers will get it here as they take possession. Carolina getting set to take the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. By the way, partner, that was a 30-year-old running back carrying the ball there. Yeah, turned 30 back in March, did Stewart. Yeah, I know that people say that you're not supposed to at the age of 30, but Jonathan Stewart, good style, good physicality. He'll continue to run it. Hoping to keep him healthy. Hasn't played a full 16 games since 2011. Here's Newton now on second down. Going deep for Benjamin. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us if they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield, they weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. A shotgun snap for Newton. And he gets it to punch his complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. They chalked that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first down, this is McCaffrey. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. And the offense behind the chains here, a touch on second and 11. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On second down, here's Newton. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. Third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gaughton with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. And here comes play number six on this drive. And it's first and goal now, but still 10 yards to go. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. He had had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second down, McCaffrey. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. And he'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here. Brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it. It won't be easy. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. So third and goal. Still. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. They might think about going for it here, but it's still just the second quarter. Take the three points, tell the defense you believe in them, and let them get the ball back for you. And Gano's kick is right through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a good kick that time, and he's able to redeem himself from the previous miss. And fortunately for him, he got the chance to do that not long after missing the first time. Sometimes a whole game goes by, and you don't get that chance at all. So you keep it with you till the next time you take the field. Here comes Philip Dorsett now to return it. A reminder, later tonight, the Colts, they'll be in Seattle to take on the Seahawks. And then Monday night, it's the Redskins getting a second straight night game as they'll head down to Arrowhead to take on KC. We're in October already. Can you believe it? No, I can't. This one's moving fast. They'll start things on first down with Deion Lewis. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. They try again with Lewis. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Throwing on first down is Brady. It's caught left side by Cooks. A good pick up there, a 22. I think that's a big pick up for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Hey, hey, 
first and ten. Here's Brady. <laughs> Throw left side, complete to Hogan. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Last year, Hogan tied for the NFL lead at 17.9 yards per catch. Didn't quite get that many there, but still a nice hookup. And I don't want to overplay as a cross background, but it does bear some mentioning here. Those rushes that they make towards the goal, I think that equates into some of his pass patterns, too. Now Brady throwing on second down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Hogan. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Chris Hogan, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Koski now out to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. And that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> bash. I don't know about that. Bash. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> To throw on second down. Newton. And this will complete right side to Funches. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Newton finding Funches for the Panther first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw on second down. Newton. Caught left side by Funches. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. And he'll get it down on the play to the 30 to Foxborough after this. For 
they're inside the 25. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Here's Newton. Trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt, that one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies make a greater impact at that position at receiver than ever before. I think mainly because of the sheer volume of footballs that they catch in college. Around the NFL, we've got a second quarter score. And it's the Browns out to the early advantage. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Gano out to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. On first down, Brady. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. By 20. By 20. Throwing again. Brady. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Brady now on first down. And this one is incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Play action. Now it's Brady. Eluding the pressure right. And he's got some space here. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. Brady going to try and throw on third down. Sets up the screen to Lewis. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the safety, Kirk Coleman. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. You don't see this often. A quarterback... Two first half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His bio rhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. Anything, right? 
They'll start the drive with a run by Stewart. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. So we come upon halftime. Intermission here with the visiting Panthers taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. An NFL update there in the second quarter in Baltimore. And the Steelers there out to an early lead. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. They'll start off with a give to Lewis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Again, it's Lewis, and he'll just get back to the line of scrimmage, if that. And with a flag on the field, and that one looks to be in the area where someone was held. So no gain on the play. They'll decline the penalty to not give them the down back. And were you thinking to yourself that maybe they would take the yardage there? Yeah, because I was. I definitely was. But as you noted, maybe they're just looking at the downs chart and saying, okay, we're comfortable where we are. to throw on second down. Brady, and a first hook up with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. The familiar refrain, Brady to Gronk for the New England first. Well, there it is, Brady connected with Gronk, but at this stage of the game, this is kind of late for them. I'm used to this happening right out of the gate. Yeah, and we were thinking we would see this per usual first quarter, definitely second quarter, but not the case. And their offense, not moving the ball like they normally do. They're losing the game. Those two need to get together and fast. Now a toss play to Lewis. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Looking to throw on second down. Brady, he gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Brady to Gronkowski. They make it look easy, don't they? And it's a Patriot first down. They'll run it here. This is James White. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. On play action, now Brady. They'll roll him out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And they went for a big play through the air on second down, couldn't connect. Now it's third. Sometimes we wonder about play calls, but this one made perfect sense to me. 
He's got the only touchdown that they've scored in this game. Tried to get it to him again on another deep ball. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Wait, 20! Brady on third down. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. punt as he gets this one away so a change of possession here on the punt and the Panthers will have a first and ten from deep in their own territory the Panthers offense now they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half they were able to get the ball back here didn't surrender any points now they'll look to add to that lead now how about the boost the defense gave them going right out on the field shutting them down not giving up any points and turning the ball back over they want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. So that one will be accepted. take this up to about the seven or eight yard line now that's a gain of six on the first down run frustrating for a defense energizing for an offense finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game that'll make the guys carrying the ball very very happy Second down, they run with Stewart. And some room to maneuver. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. The Panthers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Throwing is Newton. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. A Carolina first, Newton to Benjamin. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. McCaffrey on the counter. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. Throw on second down is Newton. Funches with a catch over the middle. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A very solid gain of 27. The 
This is McCaffrey. And some room to work. Through an opening, and there he goes. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Gano out to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out. zone for a touchback the Patriots offense now they work their way back onto the field and with this deficit you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away you know what I would tell my offense right here the punter doesn't exist guys he doesn't even exist he's, he's not a team anymore I just cut him all right so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points no way does that guy get on the field on this drive poor punter yeah he, it, it wasn't his fault but some, hey listen if some guy, there gotta be casualties at times we're trying to win a game and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down Take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Nine yards on the pick up there as he'll be left with third and one. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. The defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. Here's White. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. A gain of three, second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Checking the NFL scoreboard there in the third at MetLife Stadium. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. Trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl, Luke Kinkley that picks it. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. 
And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Back now in Foxborough. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. Second down to the offense needing five yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get it behind the line. That'll go as a loss of five. And it'll be third and ten. the gun. Here's Newton. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Dorsett on the return. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Patriots take over. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is emboldened a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Brady again here on second and 10. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Brady going to throw. This is White on the screen. And he is out of bounds, getting it across the 30-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Brady now on first down. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Thomas Davis. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. That is now seven. Seven interceptions between last week and this week. Three in this game, four a week ago. And I saw the head coach write on his play sheet, make a little note. I hope he's writing self-scout. Bring in the guys that scout games for you with a different eye and watch him and see what's going on and maybe they can pick up what the flaws are and hopefully they can correct them. Now following the interception, here's Newton. And Olsen over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Eight. 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 New 
Newton gives off to Stewart. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And now the offense operates in the red zone. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And he'll push his way up to about the 14. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Newton on third down. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We've been together a little while now, partner. How often do we actually describe tight ends as nifty? Because that's what I think of when I see Greg Olson on the field. His ability to run routes, create space and separation, and make those catches downfield. Yeah, sure consistent. The numbers the last couple years almost identical and both over 1,000-yard seasons. They come out here in the eye. First and goal at the three-yard line now. McCaffrey, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it second and goal. Again, McCaffrey. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. The offense on third down, they've hit four of seven. This is third and goal. They come out with one back and three tight ends. On third down, Jonathan Stewart. This defense bending but not breaking. It's a gain of three. It's now fourth and goal. Fourth down, ball's at the one-yard line. Do you go for it or do you go ahead and kick a field goal? I think because you're going to end up giving a long field even if you don't score, I put my trust in my defense. I go for it and try and get the points. They've gone to the fourth quarter now in Dallas. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. If they hold on, a victory there would be their third of the year. And no move to take the offense on the field. They're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth and goal. Now on fourth and inches, they're going to want to talk this over. We get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So now off goes Newton, and on comes the kicker, Graham Gano, from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, 
and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. So second and ten here. To throw again. Brady. Amaro's got it. Left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one. And New England has a first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. On first and 10, here's Brady. Now they set up the screen. That's good play. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Instead of the running back in New England, sometimes they like to call them the passing backs. They, they get them the ball in different ways, don't they? They certainly do. Think about the ones they've had in recent vintage. You talk about Kevin Falk, Danny Woodhead, Shane Vereen. James White could have been the MVP in the Super Bowl if it wasn't for a certain quarterback that was on the field that day. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. First down is Brady. It's caught outright Amendola. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Second down now after the pass completion. And they're going to go soft on the corners. Brady now to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Corn Elder, the rookie from Miami. He's at the 30. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them to the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. A fourth quarter score from the Meadowlands. The Jags have just scored as they'll add on to their lead. A win would be their second on the young season. And he gets it to the 30-yard line, but the football's not going to stay there. There's a penalty marker down. So that will push him back. And now we know why he had a little extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back. That penalty will move them back. First down, Brady. And that's complete to the right side. It's Allen. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Martellus Bennett moves on to Green Bay. So what do the Patriots do? They go get Dwayne Allen from Indianapolis. Yeah, for a fourth-round draft pick. And last year, he had 35 catches, six touchdowns as a Colt. And also, the Patriots got Brandon Cooks, Coney Ealy, and Allen all for draft picks. It's caught left side by Cooks. And that one results in 35 yards. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Brady. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver. And you're and no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Thomas Davis in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he'll have his man, that's Edelman. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. 
as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. On first down, Brady. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And that one is incomplete, and now we're inside of 10 seconds. Just nine remain. He'll try again on second down. He's going to let it fly. And that is caught. And well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Final score now on our NFL scoreboard. And the Cowboys have wound up winning that one. If they hold on, a victory there would be their third of the year. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Panthers coming out now. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for Carolina, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they'll have another road date next week with the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for New England, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.